beautiful trip. Uh, got was a little more forward than I thought today, but he, he settled into a nice rhythm. Um, I knew he'd stay the distance. I just rode him with plenty of confidence. Uh, he was doing his best late work. He hit the line strong. He's a uh, he's a really nice horse. Uh, you know, he beat holders at Ellis, and that was when I really really knew he was on the improve. You know, it's not always easy to beat older horses going two turns. Um, and uh, we pointed for this race for a long time, so uh, uh, we just we were just looking forward to this for a long time. So. He just barely got beat in this last race at Ellis. Is that, you think the extra distance helped, or just? Well, I shouldn't have got beat on him last time. I made a meal of it. Uh, I kind of got stuck in my hind horses, and I didn't. I got out too late, but uh, I made sure I, I got plenty of running room today, so made amends for that. Is this your first million dollar win? It is, yeah. And what do you think about it? Uh, it'll probably take a day or two to sink in. It's uh, I've never seen those kind of numbers in front of my name in a card before. So, and quite the um, raucous crowd. To, to yeah, be for. fun bunch of owners, no doubt. And uh, look, that's what you need in the sport, guys that really enjoy their days out. And that's what it's all about: getting a group of friends together and coming and having a, a great day at the races. One more thing: What did Brian tell you about this horse going into the race? Just ride him with confidence. Brian never gives me instructions. He he lets me do my job, and he does a great job in the mornings getting these horses ready. So when he legs me up, I'm, I have no worries on my side. It's great. I mean, he's been training so well coming into this race, and you know we thought he had a little bit of traffic there last time that probably could have cost him the prep for it, but uh, he overcome it today. What a great, confident ride with Declan, and uh, it was just great to see this little horse and this group of guys. It's just a wonderful group. Just to uh, pull this off for him is. Uh, it's just fantastic. Hard to imagine anybody having a better time at this whole meet than the winners of Anglophile. No, uh, no, they're a great group of guys and uh, girls and guys, and uh, everybody just loves this little horse, and he's just uh, just continues to get better and better. So we're just thrilled to have him in the barn. What might be next? Or what's out there for? Him? Well, I think the sky's the limit for this little guy, especially for these marathon distances. So we'll just uh, let the dust settle here, and then we'll. You know, we'll look for bigger and better things down the road. I'm just thrilled for Declan. He's, he's been a big part of our team. He's, uh, you know, gets out there early every day. You need him. He's working horses. So we're just thrilled to have, thrilled for Declan, and uh, and it's just great to see him having such a strong meet at Alice and really, really continuing it here at Kentucky Downs. Fletcher had Farbridge in there, who was you know, your big favourite, Grade One winner and stuff. But did you feel? You know, it's like as a trainer, you try to just focus on your own horse, and um, I mean, sometimes you get tangled up and looking at everybody else's horse. Yeah, with him, I, you know, every day he's training, he's coming into this race was just better and better, and just uh, it, it, you know, I just can't say enough good things about him.